Guys, it is Friday, April 19th, and Jay Tizzle is back in action to help us. So right now we're looking at a, normally I don't buy these fucking things, but it's a 2008 Expedition. JT says that he's not buying any more Expeditions. He hates Expeditions. He will never, ever buy another one. What's the beef with Expeditions, JT? Uh, I just can't get rid of them. He hates them. He absolutely hates them. I kids. sold a uh, 13 Yukon four-wheel drive, same mileage, loaded out, 7,500 bucks. I got a 2017 four-wheel drive. Wow. See, now this is the thing that Jeff and I... We both go back and forth about this. I am of the opinion that trim sells a car, right? Like high trim, good features, that always sells vehicles. JT sometimes will buy things that aren't necessarily high trim and then it sits, but you know, JT's looking to make four grand a clip. You know, he's looking to hammer motherfuckers over the head. Lowly old Connor, I'm just looking to, to make a little four or $500. Pick up some change out of the pockets. Yeah, I'm just looking to, I'm looking for just the pocket change. See, I'm the guy that sits right here by your wheel and says, can you spare any change? JT is like the IRS. They will shake you up. He will shake you upside down until every coin is fell out of your pocket. Hold on one second. Let's flip this camera around and see what codes this thing has. One thermostat, some ABS. Right. Features. I don't even see an ABS. ECU like that. defective. That's probably uh, just from like the battery. So we got. Right rear wheel speed sensor input signal missing, input circuit failure, so it needs a wheel speed sensor, and then I've got cool. coolant thermostat and an O2 sensor. But I mean, dude, this thing is nice. I think it's a nice truck. It does have a little rip. You want to do like the poppies do when they put them in gear? Yeah, yeah, there you go. I think it's good. It's good. They say good. It's a nice truck though. It's got exhaust, which I'm not really like, I don't really care. But these are kind of cool trucks for what they are. you gotta buy these things cheap, man. Well, yeah, of course you gotta buy it cheap. But for what it is, it's a limited expedition from 2008. Comes with all sorts of features, power lift gate, heated and cooled seats. I'm pretty sure these are power folding. And look at that. Hit it with the shocker real quick for you guys. I will say, I think they're nicer than fucking Tahoe's and shit. Man. I do think they are nicer than Tahoe's to a degree. Like, would I take an 08 LTZ Tahoe over this? No, not me. I'll take this. I, I think it's nicer. I think that this think is a nicer inside, truck. The features are nicer inside. I think Ford has always had a leg up on Chevy when it comes to interiors. Yeah. Even today, still, currently, I think Ford really does have them beat. I mean, hell, the Expedition that I'm driving... Is a, what is it, a 15? Yeah, I'm driving a 15 Expedition XLT with leather. He's driving a 17 Expedition XLT with cloth. Four-wheel drive. But the thing is, the trade is that his is a four-wheel drive. I mean, it's a beach bucket. I mean, take it to the beach now for seven seventy five hundred bucks. See, that's what I have mine up for. People are putting 05 Tahoe's up for the same price. I think what it takes. I get it. I mean, fuck. I think, honestly, what you should do is go on eBay and buy yourself the little leather seat covers <laughs> and dude slap it up for 79.99 that's what the thing is worth yeah but guys we have a hell of a list today jt is gonna go ape shit today buying cars <laughs> this kid's gonna go fucking nuts he's gonna outspend everybody hey, so i'm going on vacation this afternoon so i gotta do a little work yeah. then a little play yes sir what's going on what's going on what's up, we're ready to buy man. some cars today man Look, this kid right here is taking Thomas. over the world. Thomas. Yeah. Thomas Ford. Yeah. Thomas Come on, bro. I see it, man. Yes, you gotta, you gotta stay. Hey, hey, hey. Everybody loves hyping him up. So, we're going to try to buy some units today, kids. We got a little bit of time. JT's going to buy every fucking car he touches. Yeah, I guess I'm about to open a Ford store, too. Might as well. I'm about to open a fucking Kia Sorento dealership. <laughs> thing doesn't sell well guys we're gonna let jt do his thing he helped us out big time scanning that car you know he's just like the boy scouts he always comes prepared so we're gonna get to it guys stay tuned we have a lot of good content coming your way we're gonna see if we can buy some cars not too sure but we're gonna try all right everybody with the power of youtube magic we are back here in port orange it is nice sunny and hot my skin is boiling but we did get two vehicles that is exactly what we wanted 
We got two nice SUVs. They just fell right into the program. Now, one of these cars that I bought, I have been chasing for about four weeks, not that particular vehicle. We're just talking about a make and model in a specific age range. I haven't had one before, but the demand seems to be through the roof. And I finally, finally, finally got my hands on one. Oh, I'm so excited. This, I'll tell you right now, is what makes the business so interesting to me, right? I just cannot believe I was able to actually buy one of these cars. I'm gonna leave it as a mystery at this exact point in time because I wanna surprise you guys with it. I am ecstatic. Oh, I can't, oh, I can't wait to get this thing back. I'm like, I feel like a little kid on Christmas. The other vehicle, I'll tell you, cause it's not that special. It's a 2014 Hyundai Santa Fe long boy. So it's a three row, essentially Kia Sorento with leather and push button start, all the good stuff that everybody wants. So we got very, very lucky. We bought that car for fair money and if we are lucky, we will see everybody's favorite transporter, Captain America, Mr. Planet, also known as Earl Ski. This guy is a fucking animal. He's just, he's insane. I don't know how he even gets these cars here so fast. I buy them and they're here, boom, they get delivered. So what we have to do now, as much as I really don't want to, I have to go and clean that disgusting Ford Taurus. I am. Um, I have not made it a habit to try to buy really nasty, dirty cars like that in a while. But dirty cars pay the bills. So we're going to go back. I'm going to give you a nice once over of this car again because it is genuinely disgusting. And I want to show you just the magic that we have to put on this vehicle to make it look as good as humanly possible. Benefit of this vehicle being gross like that, well, I guess the, the thing helping itself is that it's a black leather interior with black carpeting. And I think it'll clean up really honestly, probably nice. I don't think that you'll be able to tell this car was that dirty. So we're gonna pull up to the shop. We just had to mail out the title to uh, a gentleman that purchased our E-Class diesel Mercedes. Good old Jason, super cool guy, by the way. If you're in the South Florida area, buy with Burke. He sells a lot of Highline diesels, uh, cool performance vehicles, uh, super cool guy in Pompano Beach. So if you're in that area, buy with Burke. Super cool guy and a ton a really cool inventory. I'm not getting paid to say that. He was just a really cool guy and his inventory is badass. So we're gonna go back to the shop. We're gonna clean this Taurus and see if we can make some coin on it. And hopefully by the end of this video, I'll be able to show you the vehicle that I am the most excited about. And I think our other two from AutoNation are also getting delivered today. So stay tuned. And in just a moment, we're gonna be looking at that Ford Taurus. All right, so let's give you a nice little refresher on this little Taurus here. So again, it's a 14, 170 on the miles, and it's actually the same engine and transmission setup as the Explorers and the Edges that I so much love to buy. And this thing is disgusting. I don't know how people live like this. This is gross. I mean, I don't get it, but I understand that everybody lives different lives. So, uh, you know, it is what it is. Am I judging? Fuck yeah, I'm judging. If your car looks like this, I don't think we can be friends. But that's besides the point. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go through and pretty much the steps that I go through is I take my air chuck with a 100 foot retractable hose reel and I blow out all this stuff. All this crap right in here, I blow all this stuff out, these little cracks and crevices where sand is built up. And then a little lesson that I learned when I was a young lad working at a car dealership is just like when you're on a first date, you spread them cheeks on these seats and you get in between all these little cracks and crevices so it looks nice and new. And then we're gonna take our brush, our micro brush, and we're gonna clean these little buttons. We're gonna clean up the steering wheel because a good rule of thumb, if leather is shining, okay, if leather is shiny, it is dirty. It's filled with oils. So we're gonna go through. This thing's just disgusting. That's no big deal. It's nothing we can't handle. So guys, I'm gonna get cranking on this. And the next time you see this Taurus, it's gonna be bright, shiny, tire shined with a clean engine bay and a clean interior. So let's get to it. All right, everybody, with the power of YouTube magic, the Taurus is clean and done. Guys, the transformation this thing underwent is magical. All the leather's clean, paint is clean, the wheels are clean. Like I said, black leather interiors just clean up so nice. This thing, 
is ready to rock. Now the vehicle that I'm most excited about, if you guys can see it right here, it's a 2010 Infiniti FX35. Guys, for the past like four weeks, four weeks I've been trying to put my hands on one of these fucking cars and I finally, finally got one. If you notice, our Expedition has a temp tag on the back. It is gone. So the timing was perfect for this FX to come in because honestly, I will drive this car. I mean, it's nice, minus the dashboard, which is really unfortunate, but all the dashboards in these cars, I'll do this. So what I'm gonna have to do is buy a dash cover, which isn't a big deal. They make them, they're out there, but this car is nice. Heated and cooled seats, okay? Push button start with remote access, ice cold air, navigation, Bluetooth, the whole nine. So what I have to do now is not do anything on this infinity, but I have to clean up the expedition because I promised them I would give them a nice detail before they took it. There we go. But this, this are both fresh on the block as well as our 2015 Ford Explorer. This is literally a carbon copy of the other one, just minus the fact that this one is black on black. It's damn near the same thing. It's dirty. Our other Expedition did the same exact thing. Ironically, on the passenger side, not the driver. This is the biggest misgiving that this vehicle has. That seat is a little worn. That seat is big worn. I don't know what the hell happened on this side, but whatever. For so, now, guys, that's a wrap. We broke our cycle. The Expedition is gone. I'm going to give you a quick breakdown of this vehicle. I paid 62 I want to say 62 plus fees. So I probably own this Expedition for like $6,500, and I sold it for 73 Is it my smartest move? No. No. Do I like doing stuff like that? Absolutely not. But it's sold to somebody that really wants the truck. And honestly, it's not a bad looking truck. It just needed to go into someone else's driveway. And I've preached this before. I am not looking to make every penny on every car. I bought it, I drove it for exactly a week and I made $800, $700 in the process. That's not a good return. Don't ever do that. Don't go out there spending six grand to make, you know, $700. But it is still sold and it is fine. They're happy with it. They're taking it. All I got to do is clean the outside of it. So getting paid $700 to have a daily driver is pretty good in my book. The rest of these cars, we're going to make some money on. The Subaru that I have had literally 4,000 views on Facebook on officially has a $1,000 deposit and they're coming to pick it up on Sunday. So that is two cars one day and we bought two more to replace the two going out. What I have to do now is clean the expedition and try to get home in a reasonable time. So with that being said, I'm going to leave you all to it. I really appreciate all the interactions on these videos. Thank you to all the new subscribers. It means a lot. Those of you guys that don't know, and if you can't tell, that's my arm. That's the camera. It's just me. So I'm answering all the comments. I see everything that you guys say. It's appreciated. So thank you. Guys, if you like this content, hit the like button, smash the subscribe button, and ring the notification bell. Every day I work, I post just for you guys. So thank you again. We were able to break our losing streak of not selling any cars. We're going to get back after it tomorrow. Guys, thank you. Be well. Stay safe. And I'll talk to you soon. Ciao.